sorry, gentlemen. We've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's do it. There are title fights. And <laughs> I love my job. Chest. I love Has right. noticed those on his opponent, Francis Ngana. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Timex, official timekeeper of UFC. Timex watches have taken a licking and keep on ticking since 1854. Ghana's in blue, and Ganu is in black. Francis takes the center. Oh, wow. Right away shot by Cyril. Getting close. I thought this would be very important for Ghana. Get into the clinch. Hang on, Francis. Make him carry you to try to blow up all that muscle. That was a nice knee from the frame by Francis. The fighter since going to Extreme Couture. He really is. Much more, more effective. We looked at these guys at the weigh-ins and they look the same size. Now they don't. Francis is much bigger tonight. <laughs> like, Look at his legs, man, compared to Cyril Gan. They look very similar size. Now they're just the same height. And Ganu <laughs> hydrates overnight to just gargantuan size. Would well, you think he cut weight to get down to 257? Well, I bet he weighs 270. Now it looks like he weighs 270. So he probably, to just avoid missing the weight, just doesn't eat a little bit. Doesn't eat a little bit, yeah. You know, he's not as he definitely full of fluid, now. but he looks way bigger. Look like perhaps a connection over the top with an elbow. Francis just can't load up. If he's Watch those fingers. The, the fingers distance. Up. Good body man. shot. Oh, body Looked shot. Like maybe it was on the groin, but the action continues. Pretty good short power shots from Nganu. Good Nganu move. Circles. Good move. That's such a massive part of his game anyways. Spinning kick to the body, lands for Gan. The body gets through for Gon. Francis literally just walks you down. But Cyril's doing a good job of moving. The undisputed heavyweight title was on the line. It was at the apex last March in that 25-foot octagon. A lot more real estate tonight. That's a big difference. Big difference for Francis in terms of closing the distance. He's had a couple of big fights there. Yep. The Rosen strike fight. Francis potentially trying to take Gon now down, perhaps not. And honestly, like, this is good for Cyril because this is unfamiliar for Francis. This is not what he's used to doing. Nice to need the body there by Francis, and then Cyril reverses it. And that's why we always speak to the power of Francis. If you're standing and you're four minutes into a round, you're excited because he usually puts people off. Look for the elbows off the... Been heavy. A lot of work here. A lot of work. Kick to the body. Numbers fairly even in round one. Slight advantage on the significant strikes for Cyril Gan. <laughs> Wasn't yeah. able to go hard. Yeah. I, I thought the corner advice for Francis was actually to the lead leg of Gan from Francis. From the like side. Kick this is what you're talking about, Joe. Yeah. That side stance. Especially against a guy like Francis that isn't kicking very And he's content to do that. He's he's fine with winning by points. Yeah, because he doesn't fatigue. Right. And if it if it looks pretty, then Cyril Gon feels good. Yeah, and he's not a guy. Energy conservation starts for Francis. Yes. Right? He has to slow it down a little bit. And that honestly speaks to his development as a fighter. Just understanding that he can't try to throw everything. To he, end the fight. He got close. Yeah, he did. And Ghana has never been finished. 20th pro fight tonight. Gone had was so smart in there. There it is. Almost one there for Nganu. Body kick start to add up for Gone. Look how casual he is. Man. Oh, wheel kick. Spinning wheel kick connects for He throws a lot more body kicks. I don't know if he feels the danger in kicking that roundhouse to the body. To just be active with his strikes. Big power in that. Yep, just, under just keeps making a miss. 
He's making Francis miss. Oh, there it is. That's what Dewey Cooper has. Don playing on the outside here late in round two. All right, a little bit of a pedestrian start. Round three coming up. Francis Ngannou in the black and gold. Tito Gan in the blue with gold trim. Times over the course of his career. Know that you can't take his and he can take yours. But he's got... In training, you mean. He said he yeah. knocked him out in training. Yeah. That's what Francis said. Oh! Oh! My Huge goodness. slam by Francis Ngannou. That's enormous. Into side control. That was huge. That got the crowd going, minute into round three. Francis caught the leg and just exploded in the zero and body slammed it. I mean, there is no other way to explain what we just saw than Francis and Ghanu body slamming a power slam. Oh. Let's see what kind of positioning skills he has here, whether or not he can hold this. Well, Cyril's starting to dig underhook on the right side. Cyril's also lifting up his knees and getting them into play. But we've seen Cyril submit people, right? Yes, yes. We haven't seen Francis do much of this. Oh, oh he's got trouble. him flattened out. He's in real trouble. Francis is going to just start throwing here. Oh, oh my goodness. Francis got the hook. Oh, hearts. my goodness. Francis, Francis is doing jujitsu. And he's doing it well. Yeah, he's doing really good. Oh, but now he's going to get himself reversed. Nope, back up to his feet. Interesting. Very oh, wins by submission for Francis Ngannou coming in, including a Kimura, I believe, in the UFC. <laughs> Who does it? Let's go out there and do it. Uh, oh, where's the kick? Seemed like maybe an awkward landing there for oh. Ngannou. Look at that. Beautiful by Francis. Beautiful adjustment. That was a wizard kick by Francis. That's a judo throw. Cyril tried to duck under, but Francis was able to keep him back in front of him. But this is a grueling round. Oh! There's that spinning elbow we were talking about earlier. He does that off the break. 190 seconds, round three. And Ghana with some big misses tonight. Yeah, he is. Well, that you kind of anticipated that, right? Because oh, we've seen sorry. everybody fight. Gone landing at a 61% clip on his significant strikes thus far. Great That's a heavy kick. Yep, great kick there by the champion. Oh, oh. Francis goes for another shot. Gets to a double. Oh, nice take down there. Oh, Kamora. Kamora, bad. He's on the wrong side, though. He's got to get his hips out. Great job by Francis Ngannou. Got to a double leg and put him down. Incredible. Right in front of us. Couple big takedowns this round for Francis Ngannou now. Keeping that weight on top of Cito Gan. And that's something we never anticipated. Francis being the one securing takedowns. That's a big round for Francis. Yes, it is. Confidence building. Brilliant. And they're telling him all the right things to do. You know, move your head side to side. Certainly a nice adjustment by Ngannou in round three. Inside leg kick for Gan. Now sitting in round two. And then he lands in the spinning elbow. Oh, that was a good turning side kick to the body. Spun. But then that last one, he just touches him. I mean, does that count for anything? Good body kick from Ngannou allows him to get hands clasped behind the back of Gan. Francis got two underhooks here. He's got the bear hug. Stepping in front with the left leg. It's the right thing to do. If he's going to try to take him forward. But Cyril tries to face him. Now Francis can take him back. Yep. Wow. Beautiful. Another takedown for Francis Ngannou. That is three. That's, yes. that's got to be his record for so takedowns, right, John? That is. I think one is his record. <laughs> he's so strong. It's crazy to watch. Ngannou has never won a fight by decision. 16 wins, all of them finishes. And Cyril Gan is doing his level best to hold on to the wrist of Francis. Can't let that right hand go. More takedowns in this fight for Ngannou than in his previous 13 UFC starts combined. 
Two minutes to go in round four. Tide starting to turn a little bit. And based on takedowns, I mean, we would have never imagined that Cyril was fighting so well in round one and two, and Francis changes the way the fight is being fought by taking him down multiple times. And even in round one, Ngannou thought about the takedown. Yeah. Cyril's looking for that Kimura again. Doesn't have it. Francis is on top now, though, almost in mount. Almost in mount. He's going to slide those hips up, secure the upper body. Oh, good job by Cyril of engaging and getting back to half guard. But Francis is so strong. But even this, right, Joe, this is for Gon, unfamiliar. Yes. He's not used to this. As John said, we can try to land strikes. It gives Cyril the opportunity to get back up. Oh, nice knee to the chest. Good job. Shades of Silva versus Sonnen back in the day. And again, Cyril Gon doing a really good job of wrist control. Francis is going around behind him. Amazing. We talked a lot about the movement and cardio of Cyril Gon. You want to attack it? This is how you do it. Yes. We just didn't know that Francis possessed an ability to fight this fight, to give himself a chance going into round five. Not only that, we never thought we'd see him try it. It's crazy. Perhaps down 2-0 at one point. Big rounds, three and four for the champ. Challenge Stipe Miocic for the title, a night on which he didn't recognize himself. Still went the full 25. And looking like we might go the distance here tonight as well. Live odds, in Gano near three to one favorite. That's telling. A little lead elbow there by Gon. And it, and it really isn't. This punch is coming now. So if you're Cyril Gunn, you got to take chances if you hope to get this victory. Because if Francis gets close, he's going to just use his power and explosiveness to take him out. Ooh. Ooh. Combination from Gunn back. The Cyril definitely seems to be the faster of the two. Oh. Oh. Take down for Gunn. Let's see if Ngannou accepts being on his back. Yes, he is. That's a, hey, that is a tell, yes. because when he fought me he was team. far too willing yes. to lay on his back. Oh, he, uh, there he is. He's got the end of it. That's the difference that Francis got him today opposed yep. to the guy in 2018. Trying to leverage a hip, but gone able to get him back on his back, sort of here. Look, okay, yes. <laughs> it looks like he was about to try a triangle. Mick Maynard's over here laughing like, oh! oh. Leg attack. But, yeah. that, but that makes no sense. That makes no sense for Cyril Gunn. Right, well, he huge won mistake. by healing up the four. Yes. He probably thought he could get it. But that, that, that's a huge mistake. That is a fight IQ issue there for Cyril Gunn. Huge mistake. Oh, he got to move it. He's got it again, though. Oh, he got it again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Francis is in real trouble. This is real bad. Yeah, he is. Well, but now God needs to try to use this to sweep. It's still attacking the leg lock. It's past the knee line. Yeah, he doesn't have it. It's okay here. Francis is fine here. But if you're God, you got to try to use this. You got to try to use this to get back on top. Yeah, but Don is adjusting. Oh, now Francis has got his back. And Cyril Big Gunn is home. Big Cyril mistake. Cyril is No doubt. Yeah, exactly. He's he has had to grapple more in this fight than he ever has. Mount. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Francis is about to mount him and get to the arm triangle position. Francis looking for a guillotine, perhaps. Gon is doing the right thing by building up into the half guard. But he's not creating enough of an angle. Half guard sweep ain't gonna get it done. Francis's base is too heavy. Under a minute to decide the heavyweight championship. And wouldn't that be something if Francis Ngannou leaned on his wrestling and grappling 
to successfully defend his title. It absolutely feels that way. It feels like that is what's going to be what keeps him his championship as we get into the end. Now, I may be putting too much value in the top control without not much being done. But, I mean, Francis spent the last two and a half minutes on top. Yes. I mean, he's going to try to use the handcuffs, put his hand behind his back. He's still maintaining top position. I mean, he's, he really hasn't done much damage, but this is a long time for top control. Much more than Cyril Ghanis has. Final 10 seconds. And it looks as though Nganu will end the fight in a relatively dominant position. Incredible. What a rally from Nganu after a tough start. He goes the full 25 with Cyril Gan, and perhaps Nganu will finally win a fight by decision. A seemingly dejected Cito gone back to the blue corner. Will he see his Bruce buff? Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48 47, 48 47, and 49 46 for the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC. Heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator, Edgar.